to 100k for our these flowers. Russell and Bromley. If you go for my day to night, honey and the black honey is brown. And they're just really good for petite people. She's running. I woke up to 100,000 followers on Instagram. Hello guys and welcome back to a weekly vlog. Thank you so much for joining. As you just saw, I had reached 1,000 followers over on Instagram, which is just a very much pinch me moment and a really incredible milestone in my career. And this weekend I have been spoiled by my loved ones with 100,000k balloons and the most beautiful flowers and champagne and just all the love so so I just wanted to say a massive thank you to my loved ones and to everybody who reached out and messaged me and said congratulations and also as well to everybody who also supports me on Instagram it really means a lot and I just wanted to say a massive thank you but yes what a lovely weekend I have had I feel very spoiled with love and just super super grateful so yeah feeling very very happy and warm my goodness i do not know what i did to deserve the most loveliest thoughtful friends ever oh my goodness these are the most enchanting autumnal flowers ever they're just the colors are just perfection like look at this deep red but then also as well i've noticed these beautiful pink roses have like a bit of a dark side to them as well so really beautiful and autumnal and you've got this like really cute like cabbage flower oh my goodness i am the luckiest girl and they kindly got me a bottle of bollinger as well and honestly hands down i think bailey and sage do the best flowers i actually don't think they do deliveries but my mum always orders flowers for me from Bailey and Sage, so they actually just know where I live now. They actually don't do flower delivery, except for me, apparently. I'm a lucky girl. <laughs> but if my angels are watching, thank you very, very much. I love you so much. And I will be saving this in celebration when I see my girls this weekend. Oh my goodness. What a lucky girl. I will definitely be saving this for my girlies this weekend. Cannot wait to see them and celebrate. Honestly, how beautiful are these flowers? They are absolutely stunning. I absolutely adore them. So thank you very much to my lovely angels. I'm gonna put it in this vase. I have this like really gorgeous ginger jar. Just think with the colors, it just looks so beautiful. just look perfection oh, oh thank you so much girlies i love you so much and i am the luckiest girl in the world to have the loveliest loveliest friends my mum and dad also got me some of my favorite hydrangeas in this wonderful color that i just adore so thank you to mum and dad for those and and the lovely champagne and the roast and the balloons honestly i have been spoiled it's been so lovely and i didn't really think i would get this much love for i don't know it is a massive milestone but i don't know i don't know if it's been a long long thing coming but i am still so grateful and so so overwhelmed with the love they have kindly given me and just very happy very very happy oh, again happy morning. good morning guys i hope you aren't having a lovely day or evening wherever you are in the world i hope you are well it is coming to you on a tuesday i'm about to head out the door as i'm going for a lovely lunch with a pr company called kga who look after jimmy chew fragrances and it's in celebration of i want chew which isn't a new one unless they bring kind of like a, another i want chew fragrance out i'm i'm not too sure um but we are going to casa cruz where i have been dying to go for such a long time i lived literally around the corner to casa cruz when i lived in holland park i know exactly where it is i know the vibe and i'm very excited to be going and been kindly invited going for a very chic black autumnal look today i have a new pair of boots that i wanted to unbox with you because i am desperate to wear them because they are so chic and beautiful so the other day i was very kindly invited along to pick out a pair of shoes 
from a very love British high quality high street shoe brand Russell and Bromley. Now, <laughs> there's only a few brands that my family gasp at when I say, oh, I'm working with them or I've been gifted by them. And Russell and Bromley are up there. It's a brand that myself and my family have adored since I've known. And we've just known it for a brand to be a very high quality handcrafted shoe brand. And they are just, they just do it very beautifully. Russell and Bromley very kindly invited me along to go and pick up a pair of shoes. I went away Way with a pair of shoes which I thought were a little bit different and I think would be perfection for outfits like today it's quite a casual day but I want a tiny bit of a hill I don't want too much of a hill also as well for the evenings if you're going from like day to night and you want to elevate a very classic chic outfit I think these knee-high boots are going to be such a game changer these gorgeous tiny tiny kitten heel look how tiny that is so that was one thing I was a bit like, mm, not too sure if it's me, but I actually really love them. I think they're so elegant. I've still got the plastic on the bottom of the shoe, but they're this really gorgeous, slouchy leather knee high boot with a gorgeous point and they just look very chic. And I just thought today I wanted to pair these with a really classic like black turtleneck jumper with some leather shorts. These gorgeous, gorgeous boots and my, my brown JW Anderson bag. But I put these on earlier and oh my goodness, they are absolutely stunning. And I just love that they've got a little heel so they feel a little bit dressed up, but they're not too dressed up. So very excited to wear these. I will leave them down below because they are wonderful. <laughs> Um, so a massive thank you to Russell and Bromley for very kindly gifting me those. So yeah, so I'm ready for the day. Handbag is ready. I'm taking my brown JW Anderson bag because I just think it's such a lovely, very versatile bag. And I think it looks really nice and just adds a bit of colour to the very black outfit. But what I've actually got in here is a, a couple of things. One of them actually is being, I spoke about it I think in previous video, about the GHG portable straighteners it reminded me to just keep putting these in my bag because my hair drops so much so these are the breast cancer limited edition ones and they're in this really cute pink i just love them and they're charged ready to go carrying on from hair i have my comb which now my hair is ready to be zhuzhed with this is from act and acre and it's just such a handy little hairbrush and it doesn't ruin your hair like your hair styling i've also got some breath spray in here this is by gem handy some hand cream which is from loxitan and it's like a gel cream i have my airpods which are also in a not another bill brand and they do these like personalized cases which could also be a really nice christmas gift and you can get them personalized and you can get them in different colors got my battery charger in here hand sanitizer some cards and i don't know why but i have four different types of lipstick so i have my trusty this is the clarence natural lip perfector in the shade 17 i have uh, i've got the pink honey and the black honey and then i do this is like my current favorite at the moment this is the bobby brown the crushed oil infused gloss and this is in slow jam and it's just lovely so that is what i have shoved in my handbag because you never know what you're gonna need and yeah i've just kind of gone for this like a uh, casual pool look and hair is looking very fresh and nice trying to learn how to do like undone curls at the moment and we're getting there we're getting there and then sunglasses are these ones because it's nice and sunny outside and i thought this would just work really nicely with this bag and these are from taylor morris yeah this is my outfit for today i've always wanted to come here because i used to live around the corner from here and we get to go and give it a go Good morning guys i hope you are doing well come to you on a thursday with my second coffee of the day and it's 
only nine o'clock. I was listening to a YouTube video and they were saying how really interesting how we allocate coffee with certain aspects of life or like little things like habits. So for instance, when I wake up, I have to have a coffee. When I think I'm going to start work or something really energetic and I need coffee to get me going. It's just really fascinating why we do that. But do you know what? It's something that I enjoy. As you saw, I have my velvetizer out because my smeg machine is still sadly RIP. And that's actually a task I need to do today is recontact them to see if anyone can help me with my coffee machine because Nespresso were really good for my parents. So I kindly um, gave my, I kindly gave my Nespresso machine to my parents because it is incredible. I adore my Smeg machine. I love making the coffee. Like I really like that aspect of it, like grinding it and like it pouring out. But yeah, I, I kept my Smeg one because my parents got that for me for my birthday. So I thought I'd give that to them as I don't need two coffee machines. Yeah. And unfortunately their coffee machine broke the same time as me however they have had the most incredible service my dad had like a zoom call zoom call with one of the nespresso employees and like a service to see if they could help with fixing it over the phone and they couldn't so they just sent him a new one i was like that is incredible. I've been waiting for like three weeks to see if it's possible to get just help with my machine and nothing's happened. It's just really sad. But anyway, moaning over, small as violin. I've actually tried a new instant coffee. I'm on the instant coffee hype. However, I feel like it's giving me anxiety. One of them I will not recommend. Oh my goodness. And if you know me, I'm quite a big advocate for Waitrose. Waitrose own products. Like I love their peanut butter. I love all their like, um, like they've got vegan mayonnaise, um, their olive oils, um, washing detergents. Like I love all of Waitrose things. Maybe it's just this specific product. <laughs> but this is the Waitrose Gold Roast Strength Free. It's not strength free. This is strength four and I can have like five of these. This is free. I have jitters, anxiety, heart palpitations. I'm starving when I've literally just had like half of this and I cannot drink it for the life of me. Like it's quite intense. So I couldn't finish it. I was going to wait to finish it, but I just couldn't. So I've tried this one from Cafe Direct. It's the Machu Picchu. And it's quite nice. So I'm having that at the moment. And apparently, actually, instant coffee has more nutrients in it than um, fresh coffee because where it's been where it's been freeze dried, it means that the nutrients has been held in the coffee granules more intensely. Like you know when people say about frozen fruit is more nu nutritional than um, fresh fruit because it has more nutrients held within the food um just a little key fun fact for you there but yeah i'll just find that you know i'm on my instant coffee hype and also <laughs> next cupboard and i am loving my hotel chocolate velvetizer it is just so easy just especially where i'm not making a coffee in the morning um on my smeg machine it's a bit of a faff to then wait around for the coffee milk to wake up so i just chuck the um milk in the velvetizer and just let it do its thing and it's actually quite nice to not have to deal with it i can go and do something else i'm using replenish milk because it's one of the milks which actually don't have much in it so literally the only ingredients is spring water five percent of almonds organic almonds and some sea salt there's literally nothing in that it does froth quite funny like it doesn't froth like I guess other milks have um, oils in it to kind of replicate normal milk. Um, it doesn't have that consistency, so you do have to give it a little stir. Honestly, my balloons behind me are just, they're just amazing, aren't they? Okay, I've just finished filming some content, a couple of outfits, and I, and one of them being a Abercrombie and Fitch haul. So I have been on the hunt for the, the right size and fit pair of tailored trousers for a very very long time and I haven't found a place where I've just wanted to have like a pair of trousers put them on and they feel fine like they always have to have something done to them by like being shortened or sized down or upper size or they're short here or short there and long story short someone recommended to me Abercrombie and Fitch and I actually have a pair of leather trousers from them and they are like my diehard leather trousers I literally wore them to death last year they've slowly 
creep back into my wardrobe this season and I'm very excited to get them out again. Definitely think I'm going to get a, like a short pair as well because they're like a really nice flared pair. They're still available, I will leave them down below. However, I was on the hunt for tailored trousers and I picked up two pairs and they are perfect. So I picked them up in firstly black because I think you just need a classic pair of black trousers in your wardrobe. These are the ultra high and these are a wide leg and then I got them in a size 26 2R. I'm not too sure what that means but on the sizing charts on their website I'm sure you can see. For reference I'm size 6 and I'm 5 foot 3 and they are just in incredible honestly i am so over the moon with them they are the perfect quality the perfect thickness they don't crease that much they're the the length is just perfection on me they're not too big they're not too tight they are just heaven someone has answered my prayers and they also come in other colors which i think i'm going to order a couple more but the reason why i did pick these trousers up is because i saw them in brown I'm on a brown hunt at the moment and I'm just obsessed. They are just so stunning. I'll actually put them on so I can show you. Okay, the longest I can go. But they are just so perfect on the waist. I just really like how they do fit my waist really nicely. But they still have a bit of room. They're not too tight on my belly. Which is something I don't like. I really like the ability to have a bit more of a looser feel. Because I feel a bit more comfortable in them. And they're just really good for petite people. I just absolutely think these are amazing they go down to the floor quite nicely maybe a smidge too low on the floor but i quite like it i <laughs> this is this is probably gonna have to do but i do really like them i think because when i wear heels as well that they just skim the floor really nicely love them and i love this color i just think brown is just it's the new black. They're just so flattering. It's just a really nice, easy colour, which fits really nicely in your wardrobe because it goes with your it goes in with your neutral colours. Also, really lovely with navy or green. It's just such a lovely colour to invest into. So yeah, really obsessed with these. I've also actually done a styling video over on my Instagram and my TikTok, and it actually might be on my shorts. So definitely go and check it out. But I will leave the trousers down below in the description box because I just think these are the most incredible trousers ever. They are just, they're going to be very loved in my wardrobe and I'm very happy that I've been able to find them. It's really hard because I just wanted to find a cheap pair of affordable trousers and I tried on H&M, I've tried Zara and it's just, it just wasn't working and I couldn't find them. And then, I mean, Abercrombie and Fitch is probably like I wouldn't say not affordable and not expensive. I'd just say it's a bit more of a higher price point for the high street. But it is worth the investment. It is that little bit dearer, but it is worth it. Because with my leather trousers, with my um, tailored trousers, they've just fitted like a glove. Like, just incredible. And I actually just... I, anyway... Yeah, I just wanted to share those with you because I'm just super obsessed. I'm sorry if these are, there's quite a lot of try-ons and hauls, but I guess that's just the nature of my job. So yeah, I'm going to quickly get ready now. I also just chucked on this jumper from Holland & Cooper for a reel because I just re-filmed, I just filmed um, the outfit I was wearing the other day. And this is just so cosy and chic. I just don't want to get out of it. I just feel so... Oh, I, I love turtlenecks. I just think they are the comfiest thing. Yes, yeah, so I'll leave this down below as well because it's just beautiful. But anyway, I'm going to do a couple more hours of work before I need to head into Sloan Square. I might pop into a couple of shops before my meeting. And then, yeah, I get to go and get my nails done. I'm thinking about going actually neutral. I do have a jewellery job coming up, which I need to film either tomorrow or on Saturday. And I'm just thinking, it's a bit more like Christmassy Black Friday. Um, so I'm thinking about going nude with like a really subtle sparkle in it. I feel like that would be really pretty. So we shall see. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with work and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, outfit of the day. I am wearing a turtleneck body. It's like, it's like a really thin cashmere turtleneck body from Novu London. 
and it's just really comfortable. I've had this for a couple of years actually. It's just an easy um, piece to have in your wardrobe when you don't know what to wear. And then I've styled it with the leather Bermuda shorts that I picked up from Zara last week and I am obsessed with these. These are so cute and just so comfortable. And then I have got my Frankie Shop blazer out. I haven't worn this in a while actually, so felt like it needed to come out the wardrobe. And then I've just paired it with some old Zara heels. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day. All my jewellery is Monica Fineda, which will be all linked on my Like to Know It. So yeah, let's head out the door. Oh, also as well, I actually really kindly received this bag from a company called JM uh, Davidson and it's really chic. I did ask for the croc one however I feel like this leather actually goes um, a lot more with my accessories like my boots um, and my mules. I feel like the paint and croc would kind of only work if I painted pieces in my wardrobe so yeah very chic very beautiful. They do have some really lovely other styles which I might ask for for my trip next week but yeah she is handy. So she's just handy as like a little an easy bucket bag super chic and also as well, it's like a really nice affordable price point as well. So kind of like Pauline and also um, Song Want, that kind of price range, which is really good. So I'll leave her down below as well. Hello guys. Oh my goodness. It has been such a runaround day. It's been, it's been a lot. But you know when it's those, one of those days where just everything goes wrong? everything anything and everything could go wrong two of my meetings that i had today were cancelled one of them which was which was cancelled for fair enough reasons bless one of my meetings got cancelled due to um some really sad family news so then i decided to utilize that time and go to bond street because i thought i was going to be in that area and do a little bit of shopping and so i was an hour and a half early which was amazing so i was like i'll go shopping do some damage and i went into bash which was really lovely and got a lovely jacket i'll do a try on haul tomorrow morning so with being an hour and a half early i ended up being five minutes late for my next appointment i was like oh my god so i was literally running to the next appointment to find out i was in the wrong place <laughs> i went to 34 mayfair not 34 bloomsbury luckily i was able to get there in the nick of time i was so proud of myself um and yeah it was really lovely I, the last appointment was actually with gel bottle and they kindly treated me to get my nails topped up which is perfect timing because i've got a jewelry campaign i need to film we just went for a really subtle nude with like a little bit of a shimmer in it i'll show you in the morning um but it's in in celebration of their new products that they've launched which have a which don't have an ingredient in it which a lot, lot of people can be allergic to so that was really lovely so i went along to test them out that's why i've got my nails they're still keeping their normal range but it's for the people who are allergic to this certain ingredient that every uh, nail varnish has within it um so yeah so that's really nice and i've just got home and i've just chucked on some butternut squash i'm gonna have a tuna and um like a nassoir salad with some roasted um butternut squash sit down and have a breather and yeah chill out i'm watching keeping up the kardashians as well there's some new there's new episodes on which is amazing and i'm loving it so i literally ran home put my food on and i'm ready to just lie horizontally on the sofa now because that was a interesting day <laughs> okay i am now going to remove my makeup and i wanted to do a bit of skincare with you so First of all, I'm going to remove my makeup and then we are going to chat through skincare. Okay, so makeup is off. And the reason why I wanted to do this with you, sorry if my eyes are red, the makeup remover, the first one was stinging my eyes. Oh my goodness. I'm trying out quickly. I'm trying out some new makeup removers and I am really missing my balms, but these are really lovely. I do really enjoy this one. This is the Sarah Chapman Rapid Radiance Cleanse. And what I love about it is it's a two-in-one. So you can actually leave it on as a mask for a bit. Um, so whilst you're in the shower, shaving your legs or doing your conditioner or before you get in the shower or if you're making a cup of tea or anything like that, just like leave this on and um, soak in all the goodness. But 
I wanted to do come on here as I was very kindly sent some pieces from Cordely. Cordely is a beautiful French skincare brand and I kid you not, I'm very, very excited to be reintroduced to these products because in my line of work, I very generously get sent quite a lot, meaning I try out quite a lot of products and I know I don't have to, but I am intrigued to see if other products work for my skin. I, but I definitely do know that when I use Cordly, my skin goes back to normal and I'm honestly, I could cry, I'm so excited. And then I forget about it sometimes, but I have a couple of creams that I always go back to, but also a new one. So I've received two serums. One of them is their new one, their new release of the Instant Firmin Serum. And I'm very excited to give that a go. I've also received their best seller serum, which is Divino Perfect. And this is a Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting. I don't know if I can actually use both at the same time. That could be quite nice. So that's their bestseller. And then I picked out the Day and Night Cream of the, um, the Firming Cashmere Cream, which is the Corrects Wrinkles, Firm and Nourishes Hyaluronic Acid. And then I've also got the Firming Night Cream, which smooths, nourishes and regenerates. And it's also got hyaluronic acid. So these are ones that I've just loved in the car. I'm gonna go in with the, I think I'm gonna go in with both. We'll give them a go. Maybe I'll try one for now and then we'll see what the other one's like. But yeah, it's a brand that I've always really enjoyed and I love all their products. I think they're really good for your skin. There's so many people I know who've dealt with breakouts and um, uneven complexion in the past have all gone to quarterly so really excited to bring this back into my skincare routine yeah and it smells wonderful personally I adore this range the most I'll leave um, all of them down below but yeah I really like these ones so now I'm going to go in with the fir Firming Night Cashmere Cream packaging is beautiful so these products have been out for um, quite a long time to be honest However, they've just brought them out in a new form, which is that you can get them refilled. So instead of buying the whole packaging, all you need to do is buy the middle bit, the insert, and one is better for the environment, and two, I believe it's a little bit more affordable as you're not paying for so much packaging. But oh, this cream is just incredible. I'm not gonna do it with this cream, but when I was at the nail when I was getting my nails done I was telling talking to the girls and I was saying how I always suffer with really bad dry nails like it's just it's so annoying I get such bad dry nails and the nail technician Millie who did them for me she actually really recommended actually avoiding nail oil. She said it's really good obviously for the nail beds and the nails itself, but when it comes to, um, I'm just using the leftover of this on my hands, um, when it comes to actually the health of your skin around your nails, oil is actually not the best thing for it. And I was like, I've been oiling my hands every day and night to be a good girl and make sure that I'm keeping my nails hydrated. And she said, pretty much said that was the worst thing you can actually do for your nails. And I was like, you just can't win, can you? So she did say, she really recommended actually just using a face cream on your hands that I don't use, just to use them on your hands. So I'm gonna look through my used box. I have a box where they're products that like I give to my friends and family because obviously they don't mind if I touch them and stuff. So. I think I'm gonna try and find find a cream or my bougie nails because I am so sick and tired of my nails being dry all the time and all I do is oil them. Very annoying. So yeah, I've just put some eye cream on and some Elizabeth Arden lip balm and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna just keep it really simple, strip it all back, only use a serum and a moisturizer at night time and the same in the day, but also just add in an SPF. And hopefully I can see a little bit of a difference in my skin. I will leave everything down below. Thank you so much, Quadly, for kindly sending this over. I 
can't wait for my skin to get back to normal. I'm going to leave you here and make a cup of tea and I think I'm going to go to bed because I am exhausted. So I will see you guys in the morning.